the things that you need to know yes! before you marry an ex. Hello guys, you are welcome to Ofel Belt TV and if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Yo. Now today, my wife is not around, so I, I want to give you some small apple, you know. And um, today's topic is about before you marry an ex. And um, the reason why I have entitled this video before you marry an ex is because uh, I want to share some of my experiences uh, in order for other people who are aspiring to marry an ex to abreast themselves with these petty petty things. You know, nursing in general is a noble profession. Uh, if you have a nurse as a wife or as a spouse, it is the best thing you can ever get. Aww. Why? Because they are loving, they are great, and they are superb. And this is because in every area of their life, naturally they are strong. And um, they are very courageous. They exhibit traits like caring, they are good listeners, they have an incredible amount of patience for you. Yeah, my wife like this, such a trait, she exhibits them a lot. They are good when it comes to making health a priority. They are good in calming down your stress without a Panadol or without a Muffin. And these are some of the things that makes them so unique. But aside all these good things about them, there is the other side of them that if you are married to them, is something that you also have to bring on board and that these are the things i want to talk to you about and my experiences one of the things that you need to know before you marry an ex is you make room for some medical technologies yes! my guy work my wife like this when she come back from work and you ask that one million dollar question how was work Chai! Uh, she chats with you as if you are a colleague nurse or you are part of the nursing fraternity. In the conversation, be expecting technologies like tubing, bargain, uh, resuscitation, yes! CPR, monitor, cardio, hemato, SNO, ER. No, the ER is not what you are thinking. It's not still regional. <laughs> ER is actually emergency room, yeah. And they are expecting technologies like skin, skin, right? yeah, skin, 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 roses, <laughs> and niku, piku, and you, she expects that, oh, you should be familiar with terms like this. And that is why I'm just, you know, putting this video across so that you, 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 you abreast yourself with things like this. Uh, aside you knowing medical technologies, um, there is the need for you to know how to cook. Yeah. If you don't know it, how to cook anything, cry. Or your rice, and wamu. Yeah, you should know how to prepare and wamu. Or even if you don't know how to prepare and wamu, know how to boil water. <laughs> yeah, know how to boil water. Because uh, looking at their, their, their work schedules, they always try to, you know, prepare food in bulk. So your chest freezer must always be ready. And when they stop the chest freezer, uh, you have the, the stew, the soup, and all those things in your chest freezer for you to, you know, heat them up. But anytime you come home and they are not around or she's not around, Charlie, you just have to know how to, you know, prepare the angwamu in order to socket it with the, with the stew or the soup. Know how to do the eba and co. Yeah, in order, in, in as much as you do that, you know, it also, you know, make you a good husband or a good wife. The nature of their work entails a lot, and you must always, you know, be there for them. Yeah, so guys, the next things that you need to know are in the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe, hit on the notification button. See ya.